on it. Come on. The routine preparations, the procedure begin. Yeah. One, two, one, two, two, three, two, three, four, five, four, five. We all the way live. It's forever Rebate. The pure pressure is forever Rebate. The pure pressure. <laughs> Now, it's your turn. See and feel the difference for yourself. 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 That's right. Party people. Party people. Party people. Party people. Party people. Party people. The routine you just saw was done on Stanton's final scratch. And we had a PC version and a Mac version. And right now, my partner Faust, he's going to show you all about the PC version and everything that's involved with final scratch. And then when he's done, I'll show you the Mac. So take it away. Okay, what we have here is the standard Final Scratch PC setup on a standard DJ setup, basically two turntables and a mixer, and you can use any two turntables and any mixer, it doesn't really matter. Basically, the Final Scratch is made up of a few components, first being the vinyl time-coded records. Uh, basically, these records have time code, and that's how it reads the signal, but it's just like regular vinyl. And then we have the USB analog to digital converter. Uh, basically what this does is it reads the information, the digital information, and it uh, maps it to the analog information that's on your records. So the way this works is your turntables are plugged straight into this, sends a signal there. This sends the same signal out into the mixer. That enables you to actually play vinyl. That way you can still bring your records, you can still rock vinyl. These other wires here go to your line input and that's your final scratch. And then this last wire is a USB wire which goes to your laptop or your desktop computer. The final component is the software. This is what makes everything run. This is a PC version and it comes with two different applications. This here, your record boxing application and your actual Final Scratch application. Let's check out the record boxing application. Right here it's loading up all the tracks. Got about 500 tracks in here. 
basically what this is, is a filing system. So you have all your music here, and it's a lot of music. As you can see, definitely a lot more than you could ever bring to any gig. Um, that's one of the beauties of uh, the Final Scratch, is that you can just bring a lot of stuff. So what I do is I sort these by box. I'll have a hip hop box, b-boy classics, scratch sounds. You know, you have 10 different boxes here in which you can like sort your records or whatever. That way you can like go to your box and you have all your stuff that you want to play in that genre. And then up here in this field, this is just basically the, put your name, the artist, title, all the information that's pertinent to your um, actual file. Um, that way you can search by, you know, whatever you want, the BPM or the name or the title or whatever it is. Okay, so basically, let's get to the meat of it. This is the Final Scratch application right here. Now what it's asking me is, it's waiting for the calibration. What that means is, it has to make sure that the time code is working. So, you put your records on, and calibrated the turntable. It says turntable setup okay, turntable setup okay. I'm ready to go. Real quick, real fast, it just takes a second, just put it on. What that does is it checks the system and makes sure that everything is working properly, that it's actually getting the signal to and from so it can work, because if it's not getting a clean signal, it's not gonna work, but it works perfectly when you have <laughs> good signal. Uh, so basically the way this works is you click on the file that you want, and that can be from anywhere. Here you have all the same record boxes that you actually sorted before. So let's say I want to find like a good scratch sound or something, I'm going to shorter sounds. And then you can either map it to the left or the right turntable, or both. Let's map it to both. Here we have the same thing on both channels. The reason this is so cool is because you don't have to buy two copies of it. So basically, uh, this is what it sounds like when it's just the time-coded vinyl. That's the sound of time code. So Easiness. if you hear that, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Put it in line. You know what to do? Papa know what to do. And there you have the time code. Now basically what this is doing is it's mapping the digital file, whether it's a WAV file or an AIFF file or an MP3 file, to the analog record with the time code. So it has a series of numbers, basically one uh, or zero all the way to 100 or whatever it is, and uh, it lines up the digital file to that series of numbers. So wherever you put the needle, for instance, let's say you uh, want to play a song, right, just like a beat or whatever, and you want to put it on the turntable. Now I have it on here. I can pitch it. Fast or slow, it doesn't really matter. I could pick the needle up, it's just like a record. Because with the time code and the series of numbers, it picks it up wherever it's at. So if it's at 50, it knows it that it's at 50. It lines it up on the digital file. This is beautiful because, you know, for a DJ that uh, wants to produce music and stuff like that, then now you can actually perform your original works or test them out at the club or whatever without actually having to press up really expensive vinyl. And uh, you know, it gives you a head start on a lot of stuff because you can like also like plug in your original show. You can take your DJ set and turn it into a live performance as opposed to just being, uh, you know, stuck into only being able to use vinyl and only being able to use bits and pieces of stuff. And that's Final Scratch. So that was the PC version of Final Scratch, and now I'm going to show you the Mac version. First of all, it runs on OS X, so that's what you're, what you're going to have to have on your Mac. And this one is Tractor's Final Scratch, so it was partnered with Tractor and Stan. And they created this version. The interface is a little bit different, as you can see. It has unlimited record boxes, which is a nice little difference. And you can rename them the same. You can bring infinite amount of songs if you want, just same as the PC version. And the response is even just a little bit better. But both of them, you can do all your favorite scratches on. I mean, you can flare. You can crab. You can do faderless scratches. 
So the response is really good. And again, the fact that you can bring tons of songs. Just make sure you bring up some backup vinyl just in case because it all depends on if the equipment works right or not. So if your RCA is at the club, if those turntables aren't working, your final scratch isn't going to work. So you're going to want to have some backup records. But all in all, I mean, that routine that we just did for you was all original remixes of songs that are out there. You can't find any of those records cut up that way. And we put all the scratch sounds in a row just like that. So that's what's so dope about Final Scratch.